this video I'm going to show you how to create a, a complex curved ramp. Uh, we're going to start here with the walls. We're going to create this ramp via uh, floors, by the way, inclined floors. So we're going to throw some curves into these walls. Uh, really could be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be anything special or anything in particular. Um, let me create one more here. Make it a little bit different. Escape out of that a few times. Play around with the angle here just to make things look better. Um, all right, so we got a complicated curve here. If you were to try to ramp this uh, in another way or by using the ramp tool, you would try to come to the run or the boundary and try to pick lines but it's not going to let you um, create the boundary later on you could try it and test it out yourself so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a floor architectural we're going to use the pick lines tools to select the uh, face of the wall we're going to do that on all three curves so once we have that all set uh, Revit won't let you create a floor without creating a close boundary so let's call it a five foot wide ramp. We're gonna come over here and change the offset to five feet. Uh, and then we're gonna stay on this pick lines tool. And then we're just gonna select the line that we just made. So select the pink lines. All right, now we have the width of our uh, floor which will be converted to a ramp later on. But now we have to seal off the, uh, the ends. Uh, make sure you turn off your offset, unlike myself. So bring that back to zero, and then you're just gonna collect or connect the lines at the ends. There you go. And then hit the OK. Let's bring this into a 3D view by going up to the default 3D view. Um, what you're gonna see here is that you have a curved floor. It's not a ramp yet. To modify it into a ramp, select the floor, go to modify sub elements at the top here, and then you see these little boxes click inside the box and you change the height so here we're gonna call it two feet hit enter ignore the warning duplicate the process give that two feet there you go and then here we're gonna call it four feet ignore the warning bring that to four feet as well and then just for haha's we're gonna make this one ten feet okay click out escape a couple of times and there you go you have your curved ramp now some of you might say well hey I don't want that wall there no problem the ramp isn't actually being hosted by the wall it's just the wall helped us create the shape of the ramp. So select the walls, hit delete, and you still have your curved ramp. Nice and easy. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comments area below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.